What up, everybody? I hope you're all okay. Ready for a player review on Flora Mole? We're rocking the League One with Neymar and Mbappe. So let's put them in a team and score some goals today. What up, everybody? It's Nubi, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 21 player review. We've grinded for about six hours to get the main man of this episode, League One player objective Florent Mollet. I like the fact that you can do these player objectives now in friendlies instead of rivals. Last year rivals was so sweaty and you would drop some divisions just to get a player like this. Now it's still sweaty but it's in friendlies and you can decide if you want to undergo that torture or not. Before we check out if this guy is worth grinded for, if you're new to the channel please smash that subscribe button, help the channel grow to 1000 subs. Alright guys, let's do this shit. Hey yo newbie, I thought you were a Premier League fanboy, you suddenly all over the League 1. I love the Prem God, but some cards you just have to get. So first thing first, Florent Mollet. He's not the tallest with 5'7", high medium work rate, right footed, but that 4 star 4 star is really nice. Taking a look at the pace, we see 84 pace with 86 acceleration and 83 sprint speed. So that is a little bit average. His dribbling looks very good with 96 balance, 87 agility, so he will move very fast. 87 ball control and dribbling and 79 composure and 79 reactions might be a little bit average. His shooting is phenomenal in shot power and long shots with 95 and 90. I expect to score a lot of goals outside the box with this Florent Mollet. His finishing 80 and attacking positioning 82 might be a little bit on the low side, so I don't think you want to score inside the box with this card. For a chem style, I will drop a Hunter chem style on him, boost the pace by plus 10, boost the finishing up to 90 and the shot power up to 99. So then he will have great pace, shooting and dribbling. His passing for a center mid is also very good with 88 vision and short pass and 85 long pass. So yeah, an all round card. His physicals are average with 59 strength and 72 aggression. You know, defending is not that great. 54 stand tackle and 48 slide tackle. So definitely not use him as a CDM. I would not even use him as a center mid just because he cannot get those tackles in. You would rather have this card as a camp for sure. So this is the team I will put Florent Mollet in. Up front I have Mbappé and Vardy. Neymar, Mollet, Ndidi and Salah will be in the midfield. Camara, Koscielny, Thiago Silva, Pereira in defense and De Gea will be in goal. A nice League One Premier League hybrid. Let's do this shit. Don't let him shoot. Come on. Thiago Silva. Nice. Pereira with the interception. Silva onto Ndidi. Ndidi with the ball roll, some space on the left side. Ansu Fati gets tackled, but still remains to keep hold of the possession. Mole is making a run. Mole with the first shot. Oh my god, what a horrible shot by Florent Mole. Mole with the beautiful moves. On to Mbappe, but pass was a little bit too long. Come on. Ndidi, what a tank you are. Beautiful interception. Now some space for Mole, passes it off to Ansu Fati, puts it back onto Neymar, Neymar, rainbow flick, Neymar, Neymar with the goal, oh my days, what a beautiful, beautiful rainbow flick angle by Neymar. He is the one. Salah, onto Ndidi, Ndidi, onto Mole, Mole with the step overs, Mole with the run, and the shot, oh my god. His finishing inside the box is horrible. I did put a Hunter Kempstall on him though. He's through on that wing. Stop him. Oh, Camara is in the bushes. That was a... Oh, that was a beautiful La Croqueta by him and a great finish from Harry Kane. Disgusting! Ndidi. Nice. Some space for Mole. Mole with the through ball onto Neymar. I want this assist for Mole, Neymar, Neymar with the finesse of dreams, there we go, Neymar makes it 2-1, beautiful finesse, Silva onto Mole with a beautiful heel to heel, some space left, right and center, puts it onto Salah, Salah with the cross and the volley of dreams by Mbappe, what a beautiful attack, set up by Mole, finished by Mbappe, come on. Stop this madman. Salah. Oh my days. Three people and nobody acted. 
Oh, what a finish. 3-2, he's back in the match. Come on, fucking hell. Camara. With the through ball onto Ansu Fati. Ansu Fati, Mbappé with space. Mbappé with the finish. Ooh, this goalie has the best day of his life. What the hell? Ndidi. Onto Mole. So much space on that left wing. Ansu Fati. Back to Mole. Long shot. Oh. I thought I would test out that 95 shot power. Alright, let's select Thiago Silva. Play it near post. Make the runny run. Score the heady header. <laughs> there we go. Oh my days, Thiago Silva. This guy scores so much from corners for my side. What an awesome guy. And we see a pause button, but this guy's already gone. Nice game. All right, guys, due to a lack of time, I really have to keep this episode short. So it might be a little bit too early to say if he's really worth it. But in my opinion, he is. Even though 15 wins for this player is a little bit uh, too much of the good stuff, I'd rather see it on 10 or so. From what I can tell, that even with a Hunter card, you don't want Florent Mollet to finish in the box. Rather use him primarily for playing that final pass onto your strikers. He moves very quick, he has that 4 star 4 star and his passing is great. So yeah, it's a nice bonus to have in your club and you never know when you will need this card. So in my opinion, I think he's worth it. Hi right, guys, this was it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think about Florent Mollet. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next vid. Later!